Me, Mr. Producer. Here we go. Let's all pretend that our, 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 that we shove our heads up our asses to make them shiny. That's what we're doing, Mr. Producer. Let's all, all right. pretend we're 10 points behind everywhere across the country. Uh, because they are. That's what we ought to do. Whether we are or not, it doesn't much, you are. much matter to me. But we got to get our ass in gear and defeat these people. Are they going to? Yeah. Uh, by the way, Mark Levin is recognizing what the real polls are saying, not all these like fluff polls the right wingers are tossing up right before the election to try and get their voters to, like, we're winning. We can do this. Destroy the country. This is the biggest lineup of Democrat Party reprobates who want to serve in the Senate. I feel seen in the house that I've ever seen in my life. The worst, most extreme hate America crowd you can imagine. Really? He does know the squad's already in office, right? <laughs> you look at these states. You look at Wisconsin. I do look at them. Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. uh, you, look at, uh, you look at North Carolina. North, North Carolina. Fucking dude, if North Carolina is on your mind... Something tells me your your polling data is freaking you the fuck out. You look at oh, this is Mark Levin. Uh, Sean Hannity calls him <clears throat> excuse me calls him the Great One. <laughs> um, another ironic title. Um, he believes that uh, the Democratic Party is all Marxists. Georgia, these are radical, almost Marxist radical. type candidates. Radical. That's apparently the key word. That word's been f like a uh, focus group lately. Radical. Come on, Chuck. Uh, you look at all these other races, as a matter of fact. I do. I do. As a matter of fact, I do look at all these other races. It's and true. I would say this to the American people. Do you like being called names by Joe Biden and his party? Well, it depends on, I mean, are they pet names? Are they cute names? Is he calling, like, you know, because... Uh, William Shatner calls me Sparkles. That makes me feel good. Um, some uh, there's some like uh, celebrities who I've never met, but uh, know because of you know the the world of Twitter. Who uh, some of them call me Halbert. My sister calls me that, and I'm not quite sure why. Um, she thinks it's cute too. Uh, but um, you know, some folks I've been called Hallelujah. That's I don't mind that one. That's pretty solid. You ever have a president of the United States who's trashing the American people? In general, uh, yeah. Lincoln, I don't think so. John Kennedy, Reagan, Trump. Yeah, Trump did on, on the regular. Apparently, um, uh, the American people are stupid. We've fallen for stupid things. He's smarter than the rest of us. He's got the best words. He knows about everything better than anybody, including, I would presume, American citizens who've been working on those issues for their entire fucking lives. You actually have this. Sparky is my dad's nickname, for the record. This guy, Joe Biden, who's been a damnable Washington bureaucrat his entire life on our payroll and the communist Chinese payroll. Who has Both? Do the Chinese know? They're not doing well. Have you checked Mark Levin? Apparently, the Chinese really had it easy when Trump was in office. He worked a, a, a real job in the private sector in his entire life, and that goes for Pelosi and Schumer, too. And they are... Uh-huh. They've just been effective representatives and keep getting raises and promotions by the people they represent. Inflation deniers. And they are gas price increase deniers. Uh, you do realize that gas prices have gone down the last 25 weeks. And they are open border deniers. That's because we don't have an open border. What? Here's what I want to know. Mark, why are you telling people to come to the country and that the border's open? Why are you causing this crush at the border? It's your fault, Mark. Shame on you. Fuck off. And they are fentanyl deniers. Uh, wait, they're fentanyl deniers? <laughs> And Hold they on, are inflation deniers. And they are gas price increase deniers. And they are open border deniers. And they are fentanyl deniers. Okay, they just deny that fentanyl exists. Um, let me see real quick, if I may. Excuse me. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, he, he does realize that, like, um, they uh, they've been catching more fentanyl at the border than they did during the Trump years, and deaths are going down. He, he does know this, right? Because we're catching more of it? Um, okay, Fact sheet, Biden-Harris administration announces new actions and funding to address the overdose uh, epidemic and support recovery. $1.5 billion awarded to all states and territories to beat the opioid crisis. That would be fentanyl, among other things. 
recognizes the devastating impact uh, the overdose epidemic has caused this nation, reaching large cities, small towns, tribal lands, and every community in between. That's why in his first State of the Union, President Biden made beating the opioid crisis a key pillar of his unity agenda, outlined critical actions the Biden-Harris uh, administration is taking to address the crisis. One, awarding $1.5 billion for all states and territories to address addiction and the opioid crisis. Uh, investing over $104 million to expand substance use treatment and prevention in rural communities to beat the overdose epidemic. Investing $20.5 million to increase access to recovery supports. Releasing new guidance to support and facilitate greater access to FDA-approved nalo uh, naloxone products um, so people don't die. Although, I don't know that that's the problem Mark Levin thinks is a problem. Like, addicts dying aren't, isn't what's bothering him. Um, announcing additional funding for law enforcement officials on the front lines of the overdose epidemic in April to support implementation of the president's national drug control strategy. ONDCP announced $275 million for the high intensity drug trafficking areas, HIDTA, um, the pro uh, program to support law enforcement officials working to reduce violent crime, improve data sharing and dismantle illicit finance operations of drug traffickers to further support these efforts. Today, ONDCP announced an additional $12 million for new HIDTAs, public health and public safety partnerships working to prevent overdoses and efforts to prevent gun crimes associated with drug trafficking. Um, releasing new guidance for employers to create recovery-ready workplaces, deploying financial sanctions to disrupt global trafficking operations. That would be the fentanyl coming across the southern border. Fuck you, Mark Levin. The, uh, since the issuance of Biden's executive order... 14059 in December, the Treasury's Department Office of Foreign Assets Control has used this new authority to de uh, designate 27 individuals and 17 entities involving, uh, involved in drug trafficking. Recent actions include designations of individuals tied to the cartel Yalisco Nueva Ger uh, Generacion, a violent Mexico-based organization that traffics a significant portion of illicit... Oh, what's that word? I don't even know there. Fentanyl and other deadly drugs that enter the United States. Working with U.S. foreign partners and industries, the U.S. Department of the Treasury will use sanctions to target the glo global fentanyl supply chain, particularly in Mexico, to disrupt the illicit production of synthetic opioids like fentanyl, which continue to drive overdose deaths. For more on the Treasury Department's counter-narcotics sanctions program, see here. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Uh, sanctions brochures, list of narcotics traffickers, frequently asked questions, uh, important notices. I mean, you're right. Mark, they're doing nothing. They're not doing anything. They don't want to do anything. They don't want to do anything. They're not, they're denying that it even exists. That's why he denies, if you ask him about that executive order and the program within the uh, um, Department of Homeland Security and the uh, DEA, he'll just deny it exists. And they are massive debt deniers. Massive debt deniers. Yes, that's why Biden has lowered the deficit um, faster than any president in history. And they are... Well, they're destroying our economy. So, of course, deniers, of course, they're desperate. They want you to actually believe that if you vote for these wild, crazy, riotous Republicans who are well known for overthrowing the country. Who well, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, look, I was with you for wild, riotous Republicans, but um, but they're not well known for overthrowing the country, Mark. Oh, please. They fucked that up. And thank God. Because uh, while they are wild and they are certainly riotous, they are a, uh, a, a steaming pile of fuck-ups who couldn't pull off a coup if they had it handed to them uh, with, um, with, a, in a, with a golden ladle. Who are well known for burning down cities. Who are <laughs> um, yes, that's, uh, again, uh, Portland, I feel bad because you must be triggered at this point. You, well, what's left of you? Well, Portland crater... Anybody who's living in a tent in Portland Crater right now, I'm sorry, but today has been particularly brutal for you. I wish you still existed, but you just don't. We're well known for attacking cops and the military. Well, no. no certainly not compared to January 6th. We're well known for burning the American flag and the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. Well, copies of them, I would like. And, and what would you, I'm, I'm just saying, coin flip, uh, burning a flag, which only makes it stronger as a symbol of liberty, or rubbing your dick on it, which is worse. Because I've made the case that the reason you allow the flag to be burned is because um, it is a symbol of freedom, and therefore one of those freedoms is burning it. And if you take, if you participate in the burning of it, you're making a very important distinction in burning that flag versus other flags you cannot burn 
in the same countries. So the, the Chinese flag, uh, the Iranian flag, you'll get into big trouble in Russia, of course, for the same thing. But in the United States, you can burn the American flag because it proves that it stands for the very thing that we say it stands for. It's not a religious symbol. It's a symbol of that freedom. And if you act out that freedom using it, you just make that freedom stronger. The American flag is the Obi-Wan Kenobi of flags. Um, that we will not have our country the day after the election. Really? How really? How about we bet $10 million on that right now? Do you, do you have $10 million, Mark? I'm guessing not. Go. You got enough money from the communist Chinese. Up how much it, can you ever get enough money from the communist Chinese? I mean, the yuan isn't worth what it's what it what it, what it used it used to what it worth to. Uh, sorry. Um, oh, I see. Okay, sorry. I was getting a buzz on my wrist. Uh, my my Apple Watch was asking me what we're having for dinner. I bet you ten million dollars right now that we'll have a democracy, actually a republic. The oh fuck! They're uh, they're all in on the talking points. They've had a roundtable. They they just Slack. There was a Zoom meeting. There was a WhatsApp, Telegram, circle jerk. We got to talk up this whole Republic thing. Fuck democracy anyways, but not too much because that'll make our people not vote because we don't believe in voting and shit. The day after the election. And let me say something else to the Washington establishment, including McConnell. <laughs> okay, uh, please, I, I, I don't want to interrupt. Please, if you're going to uh, take the piss out of people in your own party, have at it. You trashed our candidates before. I have never been so proud and excited about the Republican candidates ever. Really? <laughs> really? Walker, Dr. Oz, Carrie Lake, really? Mike Lee, he's an incumbent and he just said he wants to sunset Social Security. Now, I know you're probably for that in your little like telegram group, but you're not one of those people who's going to say it out loud. You're probably pissed he got caught. Get the fuck out of here. There is no more manly human being, Mr. Producer, in this world than Ron DeSantis. He's a sex machine. I love his boots and I love his hair. We have citizen candidates from every corner of this country. Citizen candidates. Uh-huh. That's, that's a great way of looking at it. You mean MTG? Why don't you have her on, Mark? Have her on Life, Liberty, and Levin. People who are cared about, who care about working people in this country. Well, all kinds of backgrounds, all kinds of races, all... That's right. That's the one thing. Republicans are a big tent party. Dude, the, the... Watching the Tucker Carlson crowd deal with the, hey, we're, doing, we're making some inroads with like 3% of Latinos. That could help us win a couple of elections but then we have to hang out with latinos i don't know it's like it's such a chinatown moment they're like my sister my daughter latinos i don't like them they're brown people i don't all kinds of faiths coming to all kinds of faiths yeah there's a lot of different kinds of episcopalians together uniting to save this country and defeat the one force that is destroying our classroom destroying our currency, destroying our homes and our families. Okay, first of all, it's going to be wokeism, I guess, or Marxism. It has to be. He's got a book to sell. But our currency? Our currency is worth more than our currency. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Let me see if it... I, I have to check. I have to check. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, sorry. U.S. dollar. Um, let's see real quick. Um, let's see, da, da, da. U.S. dollar index, <laughs> shit, the dollar, the U.S. dollar is worth a, oh, quit it, get out of here, the dollar is worth a dollar ten, it went up as high as a dollar thirteen, it's down two points, and it's still above a dollar, our dollar is worth more than a dollar, <laughs> This fucking, the, the yuan is, is like, I want to say 7.2 right now. It's like there's 7.2 yuan. Oh, oh well, let's just check. Uh, yuan to dollar. Normally they try to keep it around five or six. 
Um, let's see. 7-3, motherfucker. Oh, 7-1-8. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, right now, it's at 7 and 1-8. It's, here you go. Chart, get out of here. Quit. Charts. Uh, da, da, da. Come on, show me a chart. Give me a, oh, you got a chart, the charty chart. Get out of here. I have to look at stat, Statista or whatever. Um, let's see. Yeah, and back up here. Beyond a dollar chart. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's see. Here's the here's the yuan, and it's worth against the dollar. There you go. There's hold on. There you go. Um. See where it was. See where it is. The yuan is eating shit right now. It's in terrible shape. My portal opened. I know. I saw that. It, it, my camera moves with me sometimes if I move too much. I keep destroying trying to, our. I keep trying to turn the tracking off, and it still does it. Economy destroying. Destroying our economy. This is fucking. The the economy is taking a giant shit. The whole thing. They fucking raise the the shit by the the economy. It's a fucking. The economy is just economizing and the shit. This is year to date, down and then back up. Look, here's our, this is our move. It was a 36 that at its high, which was overvalued like fucking crazy. And it settled, it went, it dropped its lowest point was 28,725. That was, Jesus Christ. If you invested at that point on September 30th, People have made a fortune in the last fucking month. And, oh, and um, let's see. The, the, like, uh, let's. See. Bloomberg uh, has a great article on jobs. The um, let's see. Ba 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 da 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 da. da. Um, A lot of Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Hold on. D like, let's see if I can find it in the... Give me one second. I know I'm going late tonight, but hang on one second. This is fun. Uh, search. Okay. Uh, jobs. Uh, let's go Fed. We'll just... Uh, that'll, something will come up. Okay. Sure, for jobs, Fed. Here you go. Um, yeah, here you go. Uh, when was this one? Let me make sure this is... Yeah, this is August 30th. Hold on. Uh, there's got to be a newer one. But even this, this is still relevant. Fed gets new path to go big as job openings and confidence. Surprise. Two indicators, top forecast, pointing to strength in demand. Americans, why are you keep buying shit? You're supposed to be broke and destitute and angry and sad and destroyed. Now, there's a... Uh, yeah, this is hilarious. We'll see if this um, jobs fed making it tough for stocks. Um, let me when this pops up, let's just watch this. Watch this with me, if you will. And again, what? Oh, bless you, Lisa. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, don't forget you can support the show uh, through super chats. And uh, thank you for reminding me. And um, and uh, liking and subscribing helps a lot. We might be hitting. I think we'll hit it during radio tomorrow. I think that's the chance we'll have to take. Okay, here we go. Skip ad. Take this. It's wonderful to have you back. Your response to the jobs report 50 minutes ago. Well, it came in right under the nose in line with expectations. But unfortunately, the challenge is this shows that the labor market is slowing, but is really not weakening. I would. <laughs> unfortunately, the labor market is slowing because there's a lot of fucking job openings. But it's not really weakening because wages are going up. Say there's broad-based strength. Most industries are still creating jobs. As Anne Marie mentioned, the unemployment rate is at three and a half percent. Which, aside from pre-pandemic, you have to go back to 1968 to see that. So it's still an exceptional. By the way, it ticked up to 3.7 because more people entered the job search market. They they came online and said, "I don't have a job and I want one." 
growing strong labor market. And here lies the, Thank you, Andrea, I will. the challenge for the Fed. I think they want to crack the labor market and there's lots of room for them to do so. So, Jonathan, as we see the futures this morning, this is sort of really bad news is bad news for the market because we kind of can see this. Yeah, it's bad news for the market because people are doing too well. They People won't stop working and doing shit and going places. Train, you know, wreck in motion and slow motion, so to speak. We know that Very the labor slow. market is going to continue to slow. And at the same time, the Fed is going to continue. Why is it going to continue to slow? Why? Why is it going to, why is it going to slow? Just say why it's going to slow. Why is it going to slow? You know why it's going to slow? Because there's not that many more people left. Once you get down to 3.5% of, of people being unemployed who want a job, that's an incredibly small number, and it's going to get smaller. <laughs> of course, it's shrinking. Fuck's the matter with you? We do hike. So between those two things, it's really tough for equities right now. Oh, Anastasia, what a sorry. Too bad. Hold on, I'll shut this window. I don't know some ad they were playing. So yeah, this is over the year or whatever, and then this is today. It's in the green, people. It's in the green today. And by the way, today looks a lot like uh, the whole year. 32,403. It's gone up 200 points since I've been on the air. They're destroying our economy. And I, my, my 401k is like at an all-time fucking high. I, I, it was fucked over a week ago. I don't understand. I, it, it, stop it. People's ability to get fuel and that yeah, is- Yeah, they can't even drive and we're almost out of diesel and I, my vibrator is diesel powered. The Democrat party. <laughs> the Democrat party did in 20 months what the communist Chinese in China haven't been able to do in 70 years. Get a functioning, a functioning capitalist system to recover from a pandemic yeah they haven't been trying to do any of this shit what are you talking about joe biden and china china's eating shit right now they're in big trouble and we're leaving and he's reshored more chip factories and more factories in general but more chip factories than at any time in the last five decades what the russians haven't even been able to do since 1917 well i mean they, they I mean, if if they build an economy like they build an army, obviously, <laughs> it's, it's kind of hopeless from the start, I'm guessing. They did it in 20 months. They did it in 20 months. They built infrastructure. They passed rural broadband. They saved the economy. They got people loan relief. And, and, they, and now they, the, they, the stock market's back up to where it was even during a, a war. And we're, ah, God damn it. And to speak as Reagan would speak, are you better off today than you were two years ago? Yes. Yes, I am. I am vaccinated and I can work. I can travel. Um, there, The internet is getting better as I travel across the country. Yes. What the fuck are you talking about? Of course I am. Everybody is, dummy. We were losing like hundreds of thousands of Americans. Get the fuck out of here. The answer is yes, you're not. All right. <laughs> the answer, I'm oh, sorry, get back over here. The answer is yes, you're not. <laughs> that's, I don't know, that's, a, I can't argue with that. I don't know how to, the answer is yes, you're not. Okay. Now, how do you walk back from that? You, he can't. He's a stupid man, but he's not unintelligent. How do you, he knows what he just said. He, he, he knows what just came out of his mouth. Is yes, you're not. <laughs> How's he going to turn that around? You got to, I mean, the brain's got to be scrambling right now. I can see it like, I'm glad they dusted. He's got, he's got good makeup on the top of his head today. It's a, they're definitely, they, they, they did a, a, a fine brush. Somebody got up there with a, with base and with a foundation. Yeah. So it's, it's, they're hiding the color fluctuations. He, his head usually lights up like the anger character in that inside out uh, Disney movie. Or as Trump would say, what do you have to lose? 
You're going to vote for these people some more? And so what do you have to lose? Uh, we could go back to where we were two years ago with a bunch of people dying and us cozying up to fucking dictators <clears throat> and our alliances with other democracies falling to shit and, our, and us selling more pork, corn, soybeans, and beef to China than at any other time in our fucking history while Americans were in food lines. What the fuck is the matter with you? So I would say Republicans, unite. <laughs> Avengers assemble wins. I'm just saying it's better. I would say to independents, help us. <laughs> help. That's what you, that's what you would say, I guess. Yeah, that's, that's, what, you, that's what you'd say. <laughs> help. I would say to Democrats, wash this dirt off your hands and join us. Wash this dirt off your hands. You got something against people who get their hands dirty when they work? You got, I mean, I'm sorry, you, I mean, I know you live in New York and you've surrounded yourself with, you know, upper class elites your entire fucking life. And, you know, I don't think you've ever had a, since college, maybe in the mid sixties, have you had a, a I mean, did you have a day labor job? I laid tile um, summers during school, you know, in high school. I worked production. Um, I, I, you know, I, I worked on in, an, on in an edit bay in a basement for seven months straight, barely ever leaving to the point where I weighed 123 pounds and was ashy gray because I hadn't seen the fucking sun because I was trying to get a, a better producing job where I could get on my feet and, and make some money so that I could buy better clothes for auditions. Fuck you, dude, dirty hands. This is election between those who love America and those who hate America. Right. Democrats love America. And you were saying something about the Republicans? We have a man in the Oval Office. Every speech he gives, he's cringing, he's grinding his teeth, he's angry, and he's angry at you. You know Trump lost, right? That's you're watching old tape. I mean, you're talking about the whole like gosh, you know you says. Long past are the days of when Carter talked about malaise in effect. This guy's literally attacking the American people. No, no, he's not. He's he's separating separating out a group of people that are on the opposite side of the aisle from him, but he's also in respect to the people who are on the opposite side of, his, uh, of the aisle normally. He's saying, nah, not all you guys, it's just this specific, specific group. And some of them are attacking cops and attacking people with hammers in their fucking home. And you gotta do something about that. We all gotta stand up against it. Because he's afraid that they won't vote Democrat. This Democrat party is ideologically crazy. Well, thanks, thanks, I feel seen. That's awfully sweet of you to say. What's the craziest thing I do? I mean, come on, just say it. Just come on, just something wacky. I don't, I don't know. To, is it is it the way I tossle my hair sometimes when I'm when I get excited? Is it that? Is it just the fact? Whoops! Look at that. It made my it fucked my camera up. Hi, there you go. <laughs> the the camera tracked me. That was fun. Is that what it is? It is utterly. I am blushing. I love it when he talks directly to me. I only do the Mark Levin clips because it's you know it's it's the only way i feel like a complete person you know i i feel like he above all people gets me he truly truly gets me corrupt and so are the media that represent it they're the ones mm. that have put their boot on the throat of the energy industry we were yes the poor energy industry who's just had the highest level of profits uh checks notes ever Fucking ever. Energy independent, something we've sought to be for 60 years. We are energy independent. We're still energy independent. They're the ones harming our farmers. Oh, dear God. What are they doing to our farmers? They're the ones making food prices go up and gasoline prices go up. The farmers? How dare you? The farmers aren't the ones making the food prices and gas prices go up. Russia and OPEC are doing that. You're going to have a hell of a winner. In 
Thanks. I appreciate it. I think I'm going to have a hell of a winner too. I think I'm going to hit 45K in subscribers on YouTube. And I think we're going to hit that 2,500 mark. I know uh, hope springs eternal, but still. Parts of this country that are cold, thanks to the Democrat Party. They mm -hmm. have nothing to say except abort our babies, abort our babies. Ab That's a weird statement. I agree. I thought that speech was a mistake. Um, I thought uh, Kamala Harris should never have come out and said, abort our babies, abort our babies, abort our babies, and then take no questions. I mean, that's just rude. <laughs> Shit. Abort our babies. They are obsessed, they are radical, and they are extreme. That's it. <laughs> that's it. By the way, apparently, uh, and when he says that's it, that's the end of his clip on Sean Hannity's show. This is this clip that they put up. And, uh... He says, that's it. I, he just keeps talking until they go, Sean's back from taking a shit. And then he goes, that's it. There's no, there's no finish. There's no way to wrap it up. There's no conclusion. The argument doesn't, you know, <laughs> like uh, wrap up in some sort of like clean package where you're like, okay, here's your marching orders. This is what we really mean. This is the talking point. This is what we're, this is my new take on it. Now nah, it's just a ramble of the same bullshit talking points the rest of these assholes are saying on that network. And he just says them so that Sean Hannity can go have a vape, yell at whoever the fuck he's dating since he's left his wife and take a giant shit. Want to see more Mark Levin? No, I don't. Uh, as a matter of fact, I want to see less right now. See how easy that was?